Stranger Things, the cultural phenomenon, has declined since its first season. It's never gotten bad by any means, but by the end of Toad's season, it is clear that what made the first season so special was gone. Many people, including myself, think Stranger Things should have ended after the first season. The show has lost a lot of the mystery and horror elements which made it so special originally. Going into this season, my anticipation and excitement were at an all-time low. Season 4, however, managed to deliver a season with great mystery and horror. It seems most people love this season, and some people even consider this the best season of the show. The show managed to make a big comeback and get a massive return to form, but how did this season pull off such a hard task? A lot of shows decline in quality over time, but for a show to deliver one of its strongest seasons later down the line, it would either be because the show wasn't fully formed when it first started, which is why season 3 of Parks and Rec is my favourite season of that show, or because the show managed to stay consistent for a long enough period, which is why both Scrub season 5 and season 8 are my two favourite seasons of that show. When a show declines, it is very rare for it to return back to its original quality. Take Community, which although it returned strong season 5 after the rocky season 4, it's undeniable it isn't to the quality of all those seasons. However, Stranger Things Season 4 managed to deliver a season that, like I said earlier, is not only a worthy follow-up to Season 1, but considered by many to be better than the original. After Season 3, the show hadn't jumped the shark yet, but it was clear it was approaching that point. So how exactly did Season 4 manage to create such a strong comeback? A lot of horror comes from the fear of the unknown. Season 2 lost some of this as used elements similar to Season 1, which we already understood. Season 3 lost this as it didn't put enough emphasis on the possessions, where he understood too much of the Russian storyline from the opening scene. Season 4 balances the mystery slash horror elements of the first season with the comedic elements of the Toad to create a story with the horror of Season 1 and the charm of Season 3. Season 4 is not the same as Season 1. It uses the best elements of Season 1 and combines it with elements from other seasons. It's similar enough where it feels like the same show, yet different enough where it doesn't feel like a copy, as this would make it more prone to comparisons to the original, not allowing it to be something different and unique. Season 4 doesn't abandon or ignore anything set up by previous seasons. It instead builds off them. This both helps and hinders it. For example, it has to continue the Russian storyline for a lot of its runtime, but also gets to use new characters such as Robin. Season 3 does character moments well, it leans into fan desires such as giving us lots of Steve and Dustin, as fans love them in Season 2. This leads to good moments, but the plots there in usually tend to be much weaker. Season 4 gives new dynamics such as Nancy and Robin, but also gives us more of the old dynamics like Steve and Dustin without sacrificing the plot. Like I said before, this season slowly builds tension, like through the Vecna nightmares. This is no better seen than Season 4, Episode 4, entitled Dear Billy. This slowly builds the stakes of Vecna Tower Climax, then pays it off as a big climactic conclusion. The Kate Bush scene is probably my favourite scene of the entire show, and it perfectly encapsulates why this season was able to pull off this impossible task.